the approaches for or between We Are Water Protectors and I Sing You Down From the Stars were pretty different. Uh, every book is its own unique project and you sort of have to um, find its your own again like doorway into it and figure out what that means for that particular book uh, and so for we are water protectors i had never worked on a book that was rooted in such a monumental yet contemporary like historical event and so fortunately there was a lot of documentation so i spent a lot of time uh, you know watching uh, recordings interviews videos uh, there was just a lot of content out there reading a lot of articles photo essays um, I looked a lot as well at the protest art that was coming out of um, the camps there. And so all of that really just fed the creative process. And I wanted to represent as diverse uh, of a group as I could while also celebrating that community and unity. So for me, it was really the, the diversity within the unity and then trying to research uh, and, and reference, have you know accurate uh, reference material. Uh, and so I just wanted water protectors who were there at the camps to be able to hold that book and look through it and feel like authentically represented and that they could feel like I was trying to channel some of the energy that they were um, creating there. And for I Sing You Down From The Stars, it was a much more intimate sort of journey. Uh, I really referenced the author, Tasha Spillett Sumner, for that book. And she is Cree Trinidadian. and. Uh, I just kind of looked at her life because it was a story of a woman who's on a journey welcoming um, her unborn child and then the child's born uh, and it's sort of this full circle and so I really looked at her life and the, her loved ones and used that to anchor the story because it just felt like a tender intimate um, story so the approach kind of mirrored that. For more author interviews please visit readingrockets.org